Yo guys, what's up? Ibrahim here. Just working right now. Got a weird setup working at the park. Oh, I don't think you were supposed to see that. But anyways, like um, I'm working, but like I just really felt like talking about like something that was on my mind that I want to talk to you guys about. Like, uh, well, like you guys obviously see the title, but it's talking about why taking risks is basically the only way to live. Like most people, they like they're like. If you talk to a lot of old people, like in my experience, they have a lot of regrets, and it's like because they never took they never took chances, like they never did the stuff they wanted to do, and like, and the main reason is because they didn't take risks, like risks. That's why I'm saying risk is the only way to live. Like, you if you want to live a life, if you like smart risks, like you want to like learn from other people and make sure that you're not like dumb no, like if you're dumb like I don't know but I'm just saying you know what I mean like but yeah so you have to just take more risks like if you feel like doing something trying a business or something like that you just have to try it and like not be scared of of anything especially if you're young if you're young if you're in your 20s you literally have nothing to lose even if you're like no matter any age like yesterday I was chilling, I was hanging out with my brother and like he asked me, he's like, oh, are things going well? Like, are you, and after I'm like, because uh, things, to be honest, like, haven't been going well for me for a couple months. And I'm switching into consulting. So, like, that's what I'm doing right now. But I have, like, a bit of money saved up. But, like, I'm not, like, uh, like thriving or anything. But basically, um, so he's like, oh, are you going to be in trouble, like, in a couple months if you don't do this? If you, are you going to be in trouble in a couple months? And then, like, I'm like, no, like, and I told him, like, even if I end up back at mom and dad's house, like, that's nothing. Literally, that's nothing. Like, it's, like, that's not trouble. And after he, he's like, oh, no, but I'm talking about, like, if you have enough money to, like, pay rent and stuff like that. And after I'm like, yeah, like, I do. But it's like, he's like, the point is, is like, no matter what, like, the worst, like, worst case scenario is not really a worst case scenario. Like, that's what people don't understand. They don't understand that, like, that they're not like think they're thinking in a short term they're thinking like too like they're not having an outside perspective they're just thinking through their perspective and feeling like like they're scared like say if i moved back to my parents house like if i had a small t if i had a short term way of thinking i would be nervous to like, live back to my live at my parents house because i'm I, like right now i'm living downtown it's like a nice place and stuff like that and like people like like I, people would think of me as like think of me differently but that's how the average person would think about it but me, I don't care. Like literally, I don't care. If you're gonna not, if you're not gonna be in my life because I moved back to my parents' house, like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not gonna. I don't beg for. I don't beg for like people's like friendships. Like, if you don't want to be in my life, just leave. But um. So like, so yeah, and uh, this is the main thing that I wanted to get to in this talk is just like, people, they're like they people will, like have a comfort zone and they're scared to get out of the comfort zone like they're scared to take risks they're scared to like do something out of the ordinary something that like their parents told them like not to do or something like that like if like their parents are telling them like go oh go to school go to like get a job like get a job and like stay at that job for the rest of your life first of all that's bullshit like we live in 2018 shit things don't work like that if you think if you think that things work like that you're a dumbass i'm sorry like you like, unless you're old, like, I kind of make sense, but still. Even if you're old, like, I don't know. But me personally, like, I, you have to move with the times. People don't aren't moving with the times right now. Just, the school system isn't moving with the times. A bunch of shit isn't moving with the times. But, um, anyways, so, yeah, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Like, but it's the, the, this is what I wanted to say. Like, the crazy thing is, is, like, it's not, it's, it's, like, your fault, but at the same time, it's normal because your comfort zone is some, like a biological thing in your head that basically when you like back then if you were out at like 10 like we still have the same exact brains as we did like 10,000 years ago and back then 10,000 years ago if you were out of your comfort zone that means you were going to die most likely like you, you know what I mean so it was like that's why your brain is wired to feel like nervous or like not comfortable taking risks because it's like back then if you took risks like back then it was safer to just always do the, the thing that you knew was like okay but now we live in a world it's like as i keep saying like we live in it's 2018 like 
We live in a world with the internet. We live in a world where you can literally watch Jeff Bezos, you could watch Bill Gates, you could watch Warren Buffett having like hour talks and just learn the like learn like learn about them and learn like how they talk and how like the way that they think and stuff like that and just the way that they move and then and those little things really matter if, if you want like once you understand them and like we just have so much knowledge like 200 years ago if you wanted to learn from a millionaire it, you would have to have been or 100 years ago or maybe even less but like you would have to have been like from a rich parent or like had a mentor or something like that which was really hard to get now I mean, back then but now you could get a men like mentors on the internet. You don't even have to know the people. S Jeff Bezos is big. One of his biggest mentors is is uh, Sam Walton, and he never even met Sam Walton. He said that he used to have a, a book of uh, made, made in America by Sam Walton, and he would just carry it around every day, like and just like keep it at like hold it like as it's the Bible. Look it up if you don't believe me. So like my point is just like you have to learn from other people. That's why, like, take risks, but at the same time, learn from other people. Don't, like, just learn from yourself, because, like, honestly, the answer doesn't come in within, unless, like, in, like, you have to start, like, seeking stuff, like, that's how you have to, like, if you're not, if you don't have any momentum, and if, and if you never, like, if you, like, are still at that point where it's, like, you don't know what you're doing right now, you just want to find something to do, just watch videos like this and learn, like, just learn about ways to think properly. Because that's the main thing. That's the main thing that you have to do. You have to think properly, have a, have a good mindset. And just after that, things will... Like, no matter if you have a good mindset, no matter what, you'll make it. And let, like, if you don't give up. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys heard me properly. Or not, but <laughs> I was holding this. But anyways, so, yeah. That's basically what I got to say. Peace out, guys.